continuing coverage this evening. A viral video raising concerns about a safety at a tighter crosswalk in the video. There's no crossing guard present as children dodge moving cars. And the city tells KTK News one was there while parents, students, and footage tells a whole different story. KTK's Kara Rucker right now has no details this evening about the intersection she's been looking at for the last couple of days. Everybody seeing this video, everybody who watches it can say it is concerning. Right. It was. Which is why we brought the video to city leaders. They employ the crossing guards. And after this 12 year old boy walked across the street alone after school, we went to them for answers. To clarify, there is a crossing guard there. Um, maybe her visibility at that location wasn't the ideal spot. So parents want to know if she was there, where was she here? Time and time again. That's my one and only son, so I just really wanted you know, I want help. It was like, Mom, I'm just trying to get home. No one ever stops. Um, there's not anybody out there. These videos are time stamped at 415 and 435 while she's on duty until 445. The city says the children just didn't see her. Everybody, we get antsy. We're ready to cross the street. Kids are no different. We're ready to get going and move on, especially if we don't want to wait. So that's likely what happened, and that's the corrective actions we're taking. What we've done to remedy that is you will see this crossing guard and you'll probably see more other crossing guards with their own chairs like folding chair right at that corner which they did in the meantime the issue of cars going while this little boy is in the middle of the road is a huge safety concern whether there's a guard here or not while crossing the street for a live shot I found myself in the same situation are you kidding me and if it's scary for me it definitely is for a 12 year old there were over 5,600 crashes that involved pedestrians in 2018 that left over 600 dead. Something has to happen. Something has to happen. Like, something has to happen. That's really it. Tyler Police will be monitoring these areas and giving citations to those breaking the law and putting children at risk. Parents now hoping this will be a solution and not just a temporary fix. Kara Rucker, KETK News. And the mother tells KETK News her child will now be a car rider to avoid that particular crosswalk. Not comfortable with how the situation has been handled. We will continue to monitor this area and hold everyone accountable to make sure safety is top priority.